weekend plans include a trip to the vet. Face it, you probably won't have cash left for much else. But Brian McElhatton says there may be a solution. Health insurance for your pets. Brian, what's the deal? These days, our pets are living longer, healthier lives thanks to modern veterinary care. Trouble is, it can get really expensive really quickly. And if that's something you're concerned about, then maybe pet insurance is worth looking into. This is Tukey, Golden Retriever, still going strong at the ripe old age of 12. He's had great care, thanks in part to pet insurance. Years ago, after a fight with another dog, Tukey was beat up pretty badly, but pet insurance may have saved him. I was able to take him to the vet and have the surgery and everything else, and it didn't cost me anything. That surgery would have likely cost thousands, but with insurance, there was no out-of-pocket expense. And so we have medical policies that cover everything from a you know, scratch on the nose to cancer and everything in between. Curtis Steinhoff represents VPI, Veterinary Pet Insurance Company, the division of Nationwide Insurance. And like auto insurance, there are different plans to fit your needs. A medical policy is $25 to $35 a month, and you can manage that premium by choosing a different deductible. But VPI isn't the only pet insurance provider. Healthy Paws, Pet Plan, and Pet First are other companies that rank well with consumer reports. But each company's different, so read the fine print. Some have annual spending limits. Some won't enroll animals over a certain age. And know this, the younger the animal is, the better, because pre-existing conditions increase the prices. Meanwhile, back at the dog park, Joan and Tukey are enjoying the sunshine and the peace of mind. So I never want to make a decision that I can't afford to keep my dog alive because of money. And we put links to all the information you need on our website, thelisttv.com.